There it is guys, all packaged pretty. Battery went dead on the GoPro. Um, I'm not even sure yet where it left off, but anyway, uh, this is the uh, the end result. It's uh, going up to Pleasanton, California, out of Phoenix, Arizona. Came down last night, got a room. Got here bright and early. It's already probably 80 degrees, 5th of April. Welcome to Arizona, people. If you don't like the heat, hit the street. Okay, y'all, it's your man with the plan. Um, had a little setback this morning. I chose not to record it because I was already set back and running late. And um, anyway, what happened is um, we put too much weight on the drive axle. If you look here, you can see my steer axle is 53.40. I'm good up to uh, 6,000 pounds. The drive axle, I'm capped at 97.50. And you can see I went to 10,140, so we're a little over there. The trailer axle, I'm good up to 20,000. 17,860 is where we wound up here. And then the total weight was uh, 33,340. I'm, I'm good up to 40,000. So nothing, nothing wrong there. It's just the drive axle. So what I had to do was go back to the shipper, have him relocate one of the pallets from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer to shift some of the weight. Those pallets are about 1,500 pounds. Or, yeah, 1,500 pounds each. So one pallet was enough. Uh, here's the, the most current um, scale ticket. Uh, again, we're... Um, we're too legit for shit here. Steer axle, 5360. Uh, again, I can go to 6000. The drive axle, I can go to 9750. So we're at 8600 now. And then the trailer, I'm good up to 20,000. Um, 19,340 is while we wound up. And then if you look here, the total axle weight, 33,300. Somewhere 40 pounds disappeared. Uh, the other one was 33,000. Let's see. Yep, there it is there. Let's see. Yeah, see? 33,340 and 33,300. So sometimes I guess you just kind of have to wonder how accurate these scales are. But anyway, that's it. Uh, again, we're too legit for shit. So let's get.
ain't one thing, it's a mother truck another. It's Taco Tuesday, people. Fairly smooth day, I guess, as far as driving goes. Got the uh, those big old steel bolts offloaded. Uh, that went fairly smooth, but um, I've been on the load board multiple times today trying to find something going somewhere. And if it ain't one thing, it's a mother truck another. It's, uh, you know, God, those some of the stuff. Uh, it wouldn't fit on a, a couple of them wouldn't fit on a, on a hot shot. Okay, you get that every day. Um, the other one was uh, five, he had five loads on a military base. Can't remember the name of that base, but it was going over to Hill Air Force Base in Salt Lake City, which would have been cool. Um, and uh, the fifth one, I guess, for whatever reason, they're vehicles of some sort. And the fifth one, they couldn't get started. So that one fell apart. Um, God, it was just one thing after another. So anyway, uh, it's late in the day now. Um, I had been watching this one load that was going from um, Madera, California, down to Phoenix, a couple hours south of where I dropped off, and then down to Phoenix. Um, watched it, watched it, watched it. It was getting close to the end of the day. I didn't want to go back to Phoenix because there's still a few days left. I was kind of hoping to go over to Salt Lake, you know, buy a little time heading that way, get over there Wednesday, Thursday, then head down towards Phoenix towards Friday and wrap up the week and head home. But, um, yeah, I guess I'm heading towards Phoenix early. Um, I'll have to find something local down there. I don't know, maybe run back up to Vegas. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, summer's coming. Um, Northern California, it's 75 degrees right now, and I was feeling it when I was rolling up those tarps. I gotta get some new tarps. Those are heavy duty steel tarps, and they are heavy. They probably weigh somewhere around 80, maybe 85 pounds each. Uh, total overkill, you know, for, for a hot shot. I'm thinking about getting these uh, either parachute tarps or airbag material. Uh, what they do is they put vinyl across the top and then the parachute material along the sides, and uh, it cuts the weight way, way down. I was talking to one of the salesmen about it the other day, and he said that really the only difference between the two, what they refer to as an airbag tarp, it's not really the airbag material like they use in airbags on the car. It's just a thicker canvas. It's similar to the, the parachute material. It's just a thicker, heavy-duty material uh, that reduces uh, the terrorability, I guess we'll say, the ability to tear. So looking really hard at some of those, especially now that it's starting to get hot, again um you know we get our monsoon season in uh, arizona and it can be 115 degrees and then all of a sudden it starts raining and it cools off to like 95 or 100 with all that humidity and um, tarpon in summer is not something i'm looking forward to so i may be getting those tarps sooner rather than later anyway um wrapping up today uh taco tuesday and um Gonna go get a hotel and a shower. I was sweating my ass off out there in that dirt lot. But uh, we got it done. And uh, I got that load for tomorrow. Uh, got a hotel uh, about halfway down to the pickup. So we'll call it a, call it a day down there.
don't know why I was drawing a blank on it before. I've actually held this stuff before. I did a video about it. Um, I was uh, going down to, I forgot the name of the town down in Southern California. Turns out that was just a job site. We had to drive another 30 minutes south of there and I wound up on the uh, US-Mexican border uh, with the pipe where they were building the, uh, the border wall. Uh, they were using the pipe, uh, the pipe for, um, you know, flood control on the roads they were building down there. So, yeah, we've been acquainted before. Uh, anyway, this is going into Phoenix. Um, good news about it is it's going to get me home tonight. Uh, I checked the load board a little while ago, and there's decent freight coming out of there for today, nothing for tomorrow. Uh, going up into Vegas and then over into Southern California. Um, I would have loved to have gotten the, one of those Vegas runs. Because um, they were paying really, really good. And from Vegas, I could deadhead home. It's two hours. Um, so I guess we'll just have to see what's on there for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, corrugated pipe. That's it. Corrugated pipe, people. Corrugated pipe. We made it back to the Casa. Gonna chill here for the night. Go drop that off first thing in the morning. And then uh, I've already picked up, uh, picked up another load out of Phoenix. Going over to, oh man, Safford, Arizona. Uh, pays really well. Um, there's nothing over in that town coming out. Uh, so they're basically paying, paying well enough to go over there, drop, and then uh, deadhead back. So that's the plan tomorrow. Gotta drop this off first thing in the morning. I'm gonna get up about four o'clock and um, go get it dropped off and then uh, do that pick and drop. I've got a drop by two o'clock out there. So that's the plan. So that went fairly smooth. Um, we kicked the uh, corrugated pipe off the deck and now it looks like we're gonna go pick up some PVC pipe and um, pallets. I'm not sure what's on the pallets. That's going out near Morenci, uh, Arizona. So this should be fun. There ain't much out in Morenci, Arizona. So let's see what I've gotten myself into this time. Stick around. So this is it people, let's take a quick look. Two skids of PVC pipe and a pallet that I'm gonna hope stays together. Uh, I've done a lot of Home Depot loads that they use that shrink wrap on and it does a decent job and we're not going anywhere near as far as I've gone with those Home Depot loads, so it should be good. So it turns out this uh, PVC pipe and uh, the pallet of material with it is going to uh, Clifton, Arizona. Um, we're way out in the eastern portion of the state, um, and uh, 
there is absolutely nothing going on out here. A lot of mines and stuff like that, but nothing going back. I've checked the load board multiple times today. And I was hoping I'd get lucky, be able to throw something on the deck. I hate driving around empty, but they paid the miles up and back. Uh, it would have been just a you know a real nice bonus if I could have found something on there. And there's still time of the day that I might, but like I said, there's nothing going on out here. It's uh, if I, if I delivered out here, well, I am delivering out here. I would uh, just bet the farm. I'd have to go back to Phoenix um, or Tucson. Tucson's almost the same distance, but even less. Uh, production going on in Tucson than Phoenix so um, that's what I'm going to do I'm going to head back to Phoenix I got enough uh, time on the clock to make it out into like the Mesa Gilbert area and then uh, I'll have to shut it down for the night and then um, I'll see if I can find some local work on Friday if not I'll just make it a three day weekend and take it to the house anyway stick around I guess we're not going into the big city. Uh, this brush fire, wildfire fire, has got the road shut down, and uh, we aren't going anywhere. Seems to me it'd be a better idea to leave the roads open, and uh, you know, let people get on through and do what they're doing, and then uh, that way the fire trucks can get in here and do what they got to do. I don't know. I guess they got a reason behind it, but meanwhile we're going to sit by, no problem. Um, that was really, really cool. A um, lot of history in that little town up there. Um, he, uh, he was telling me he lives out there, and uh, him and his buddies got sand rails, and they go out chasing around on the trails and stuff out there. And uh, that site where they were storing the pipe, uh, up until a, a few days ago, was the, uh, the power plant for the... Uh, plant that run the electricity through the town and then I guess over the years they converted to a new more modern system and eventually didn't need that place anymore and they tore it out of there so interesting but uh, 
That's it, it's Thursday. Um, still haven't found anything for Friday. Uh, based on what I'm seeing here, Friday is probably gonna be uh, day one of a three-day weekend, but uh, we'll see. I'll get up and check the load boards in the morning, see what I can come up with, but it's not looking good right now. How ironic, and I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the camera zoomed all the way in, just to the right of the truck in front of me, is a sign that says, uh, Land of San Carlos, uh, Apache Tribe Indian Reservation. Further down, there's a Smokey the Bear sign with the fire danger warning. And then just beyond that is the fire. So check it out, people. Clifton is where we delivered today. Come back down this way, up around this way off the 70. San Carlos is where we're at. Continue on this way over here to kind of the Mesa Chandler area. The Phoenix is where I'm trying to get to. And in order to do it, because of the Coronado Forest right here, uh, the only way to do it is come back down around this way to the 10 and all the way back around this way. So I don't know if it's better to wait. Just under an hour, we're back on the highway and out of the range of the fire. Um, they had in, I'm heading east. In the easterly direction, they had two separate roadblocks. And God knows how many going west. And none of them were at an intersection. Like if it was up to me, I, and I had to shut the road down, I'd shut it down at a T intersection where travelers have an option to go other other directions I would have done one on the east and one on the west